Very good point. f of x equals natural log sine squared x. Okay. So I have um, a function that is a natural log of another function, and I want to differentiate this. How do I do it? Be one divided by the function. Very good. Function prime. Exactly. That's it. Awesome. Thank you. So I have sine squared x times sine squared x prime. Excellent. So now one over sine squared x times. I have a function raised to a power. How do I differentiate a function raised to a power? Uh, you pull the power down, probably. Times sine x to 2 minus 1 times the inner function prime. Cosine. Very good. Thank you very much. Awesome. Yes. So obviously I see that I can simplify a sine. How much is cosine over sine? What function is that cosine over sine? It's not tangent, but right? Sine over cosine is tangent. Cosine over sine is cotangent. Very good pick, thank you. Any other natural log function that you would like to Look at not not yet not yet this or this because I did not present the formula yet. Can you do number, number twelve? Number twelve and what was the other one? Sixteen. Very good. Twelve and sixteen. Let's take a look. Page ten. So let me copy them. So 12 is p of t equals natural log of the square root of t squared plus 1. And let me also copy 16. What was 16? So p of v equals natural log v over 1 minus v. OK, perfect. OK. So p prime. It's a natural log. What do I do? 1 over the function times the function prime. Very good. So 1 over whatever times this prime. <laughs> 1 over the square root of t squared plus 1. How do I differentiate the square root of a function? Pull down the exponent. Um, not for the square root. It's the, it, it, I, I would say yes, but we have a very shortcut. We have a shortcut for that. One over two times the square root. Of the yes, one over two the square root times the inner function prime. Excellent. So t squared plus one times t squared plus one prime. I multiply these two to get 1 over 2 in parentheses t squared plus 1. And can anyone give us the derivative of this? 2t. 2t. I simplify. So final answer this. Good. Good pick. OK, so let's look at 16. Any questions? Don't let me move on if you have questions. Anyone? So I'm going to change it to x, natural log x divided by 1 minus x. You can go back and change it back at the end. So p prime. What formula, what rule do I apply here? Well, 
quotient rule. Yes, excellent. Let's start with the denominator, because that's the easiest. What do I have? The square root. That's it. That's it. Perfect. Now I have to differentiate the top and put it here. It would be 1 minus x. 1 over x. The top prime is 1 over x times the denominator minus the numerator times the denominator prime. How much is the derivative of the denominator? Only just one? Careful. It'd be zero. Careful. Negative one. Negative, Negative one. one. Yes, and I'm going to change that. That's what lazy people do. So I should have write, written negative 1 here, but I changed that into positive. I don't need to do anything here, else here. I mean, we can find the least common denominator in the top. So let's do just that. We're not going to be able to simplify it. So the least common denominator is x, and just need, this one needs to be multiplied by x. So 1 minus x plus x, natural log x over x. And then over 1 minus x, everything squared which is over 1 and needs to be flipped. But there is nothing else I can do after that. 1 minus x plus s, x natural log x over x, 1 minus x squared. Good pick. Now, let's talk about when the base of the natural log, sorry, when the base of the log is not e. So we don't have natural log. Similar to, let me refresh your memory, e to the x prime is e to the x. I should write times natural log e. I don't because it's 1. When we have a to x, Can I answer the oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I know I took it too fast, I'm sorry. Sorry about that. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Everyone okay with this? Any questions? Thank you. Don't ever let me move on if you have any questions, please. So when we differentiate this, we have a to x times natural log a. Of course, if it's a function, then I also need to multiply by the function prime. It's not in this case, right? Because there is no need. I don't have a function. I have plain x. But if this is a function, then this is the function, and this is the function prime. Now we also know that when we differentiate natural log, we get 1 over x. But we should get times natural log e. We don't, because natural log e is 1. So if I have log in any base, not e, of x, this is what I have. 1 over x natural log a. If it were e, this would have been 1. But it's not e. It's any other base between 0 and 1 or 1 to infinity. Of course, if I have a function here, I will always have that shadow for the function prime. So this is Almost one last formula before we look at hyperbolic functions. And no more formulas. No more functions. That's it. After that. We are looking at other things, but no, no more functions to differentiate in the sense that we have to study how to differentiate them. Okay. So now we can choose anything with any other base. For example, let's say base 8. So y equals, that's 13 log base 8 of x squared plus 3x. So, how do I differentiate this? Can anyone get it started for us? 1 divided by? So, 1 divided by? So if this is the function, right, if this is a function, like in this case, I have to have x squared plus 3x. I have to multiply next by what? Natural log 
Eight. That's it. Times, don't forget the shadow. Uh, derivative of x. Yes, which is? Which is 2x plus 3. That's it. Awesome. That's the only difference. Everything else is the same. Okay, I want to talk about this. Now the question is, um, we can talk about the logarithmic differentiation first, and then look at hyperbolic functions. Or we can go to hyperbolic functions and then logarithmic differentiation. I'm tempted to finish this because we are looking at logs right now instead of stopping and going to and we can do that uh, we can look at hyperbolic functions next week on Monday. Is we that only a, have 10 minutes left so do you want to, let's do logs. Okay, so let's continue with that. Perfect. Good point. So I need to stop and talk about it. Again, can anyone tell us how to differentiate x cubed plus 3x to the fourth power? Uh, the constant 4 uh, times uh, x squared plus 3x prime. Uh, if I put the uh, 4 the in, third, the yes, third. now times the inner function prime. X squared X plus 3. 2x plus 3. We knew this. This is not new. But here it is. Here's another question for you. Sine x raised to power cosine x. Differentiate. Notice that this is a function raised to a power. It's not a function raised to a function. So this formula is for f to the nth power n times f to n minus 1, n times f to n minus 1 times f prime. But this is not the situation. It's not a function raised to a number. It's a function raised to another function. No formula. So when we deal with a function raised to another function, we have to do it in a roundabout way. So we're working on this function. So y is sine x raised to cosine x. We cannot differentiate at this point. What we can do is apply log, basically natural log, to both sides. When I apply log to a power, what is the power rule for logs? So if I apply natural log to x to the fifth power, how do I simplify this? Five, Five. natural log x. So this is a very important property of logs. So I will apply log to both sides, and I get natural log y equals natural log of sine x raised to cosine x. Now, what do I have to do next to simplify this based on the rule that we just looked at? Cosine x times natural log sine x. Excellent. So, knowing that natural log y equals cosine x times natural log 
of sine x, I will apply differentiation to both sides. I will differentiate both sides. Now keeping in mind that this is log applied to a function. Okay, I'm ready. How do I differentiate this side? One over y? Times, because it's a function. Uh, times y. Excellent. But we all have to write it as dy over dx. Excellent. Now remember this is a product. Function 1, function 2, which is a function of a function. Good, I'm ready. How do we differentiate the product? Cosine is... I'll help you. It's negative sine x. Negative sine x. Perfect. Times the second function plus cosine times natural log prime of a function. How do I differentiate natural log? Is it 1 over sine x? Cosine x. Times? Oh. Very good. Times sine prime, which is cosine x. Excellent. What am I solving for? From everything you see here, what am I after? Dy dx. Yay! Dy dx. In order to solve for this, how do I get rid of this? Multiply times y. Yes, but I don't want to multiply by y. I want to multiply by what it is. I want to multiply by sine x raised to cosine x. So then dy over dx equals sine x raised to cosine x times all this. Negative sine x natural log of sine x, cosine over sine, it will be cotangent, so plus cosine x times cotangent x. And this is logarithmic differentiation combined with implicit differentiation. First, we applied log, and then we differentiated implicitly. And that is called logarithmic differentiation. When is it applied? When I have a function raised to a function, because I have no rule for this. But if I have a function raised to 5, 10, 11, 15, 100, I don't need to do this. I have a rule for it. But if I have a function raised to another function, there is no rule. I have to go through all these steps. Apply log, and then apply dif uh, differentiate both sides to determine what I'm looking for. Any questions?